There is evidence tonight, too, that the original strain of COVID-19 has mutated into a new, more contagious strain. The study was done by researchers at the Los Alamos National Lab in New Mexico. It has not been peer-reviewed, but is being shared now to help those working on vaccines. It analyzed thousands of coronavirus sequences and found a new strain appeared in February in Europe, then migrated quickly to the east coast of the United States and has been the dominant strain across the world since mid-March. Wherever the new strain appeared, it quickly infected far more people than the earlier strains that came out of Wuhan, China. Quebec is promising new premiums and a bonus plan for full-time health care workers in hopes of recruiting more staff. Premier Francois Legault announced the plan during his daily briefing, but offered no specifics or timeline. He says the province is down at least 11,200 health care workers, either because they've tested positive for COVID-19 or they fear getting it. Montreal is transforming some of its transit buses into mobile testing clinics. Each one will be used to test about 100 people per day for COVID-19 and will be disinfected regularly. The buses are part of a citywide effort to boost testing. There have been over 16,000 confirmed COVID-19 cases in Montreal. That's about half of Quebec's overall infections. The federal government is trying to ease the pressure on Canada's farmers and food producers. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced a $252 million aid package today to help farmers and food processors hit hard by the pandemic. As Abigail Beeman reports, it falls far short of what the industry says it needs. Out making meat deliveries, Michael Tremblay is glad to hear there's some federal help for food processors like him. $77 million for things like personal protective equipment. If there's anything out there, we would try to take advantage of it. But the day after the agriculture industry told MPs they need this. $2.6 billion in immediate support. The Prime Minister promised just a fraction, $252 million in total. Half is for producers facing extra costs, backlogs of livestock because of meat processing plant slowdowns, 100,000 extra cattle as one example. We have the food and there's the consumers that want the food. We just need a little help getting the food to the consumers. And this is not going to get it done. It's quite upsetting to a number of farmers who are calling me now. My phone is blowing up because they're mad that the support's not there that we needed. Some in the pork and poultry industry are considering euthanasia for animals that cannot be processed. Keith Curry says there will always be food on the shelves, but selection and price will be affected. You're looking at 8 to $10 heads of lettuce or $12 cucumbers. Who knows where the price is going to settle at in the fall if we don't see some relief immediately. This is an initial an investment, and if we need to add more, we will. Ottawa is also launching a $50 million food surplus program to buy extra food and get it to Canadians in need through food banks. We will be working with the sectors that are most impacted by have the, most, the biggest surplus, like for example, uh, poultry, um, mushrooms, potatoes. The agriculture minister is encouraging farmers to take advantage of the risk management programs already in place. But those farmers are saying they've told the government for years those programs aren't working in normal circumstances, let alone a pandemic. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.